Hey, today I want to do a video that covers what I think is the most important skill that you can practice in terms of whether you're using colored pencil or graphite, anything that you're trying to establish an understanding of drawing and getting what you're seeing in front of you onto the paper in front of you. I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to do a demonstration because that's what we do on Zoom. Okay. These are the tools that I have. This is a big brush. It's a makeup brush that a friend of mine got for me at Savers. This is beautiful because it gets rid of all those flakes and it's a good habit to start. An eraser. This is a number eight B pencil, meaning it's really soft. This is a four H pencil and that's really hard. And I'll go over what that means. This is a blending stick. So this blends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 8B and this being able to gradually lift your hand and slowly make this fade. Is a skill set. I'm going to go back and darken this in a little bit so that it's clear that what's happening and what you're wanting to see in this is this value blend or gradient blend that goes from dark to light. So if I make this into an actual scale, it'll look something like this. Here's your darks, here's your mediums, and here's your light. So say mid-tones, I'm gonna get this out of here because this is the forgotten area over here. This is really important because if you're doing something, it's really critical that you understand where your darkest areas are and where your lightest areas are as well because that's what makes the contrast. The contrast is supported by all this in between, which are your mid-tones. And it's really hard to know where your mid-tones go if you don't know where your darks are and you don't know where your lights are. So if you get great at reading that in a picture and you can say, my darks are here and my lights are here, this is how you translate it into graphite. And another beautiful thing about graphite is you can do this same gradient blend, just blending across from the light to the dark you can get it with a blender stick. So I can shift this into a beautiful scale. And I'm remembering in my head that even though I'm running into white, this is still an area. White still matters in here because you have to have the highlights and the darks in order to have something that is arresting. Of course, unless you're doing it in black and white. But this is the gray scale. This is it right in here, the center. So this is the skill is to understand the dark, the gray scale, the mid-tones and the whites. And you need this in every single drawing that you're gonna do. This is an H pencil. H's are hard and you can see I'm getting a lot of lines it's harder, I can do this gradient scale. It's not as easy, it can be. I don't have a, oh yes I do, wow, look at that, a clean blender. So it still blends, I still can get an H to blend and that's a four H, but I'm not gonna get those same darks. I can go back over this and you can see the lines that I get so this is more of a cross hatching. I still can get there. I've gone back over it again, but I'm not gonna get these beautiful, rich, soft blacks that I'm getting if I use a blending stick. So you can do it. It's a lot easier if you do it with the blender and the B, the black. And why that skill set is so important is because if I tell you something like this and give you these clues and say, okay, there's something like this. <laughs> this is my favorite. 
upside down Kermit thing. But this, I'm trying to tell you something with this. What if I told you this in a different way? And I'm gonna put some more of my darkest, darkest black on here. And I'm gonna dip this in and I'm gonna say, all right, what if I tell you the same story? Here's the circle here. What if I put the circle here? What if I put those lines here? And what if I put this circle here? Now, what happens when I put my midtones in? I'm not gonna jump ahead. If I do this, Are you starting to see a different understanding of the story that I'm telling you? That there's something else there, something that you might recognize? And now if I go in and put the darks in, maybe even that over there, that same story now becomes quite a different story by me adding the lights and the darks and the mediums. And I'm gonna take an eraser and obviously I don't want that circle to be so strong. So I can go down and lighten that up, take it out on the top, even though it's still there. And that is what's informing me where I'm putting these shadows from the side is that. All a nose is, is the coming together of this value scale. You couldn't draw a nose. It'd be very, well, not impossible, but you end up with what I had before. <laughs> Can you tell now I'm getting all caught up in, no, it has to look right and I have to finish it. But you get the point, it's a nose, right? And I think that that's what the difference is that when you stay with just the blacks and the whites, you're kind of relegated to this. And when you are allowing yourself to have this huge gradient ability that comes with graphite, whether you've got H's laying around or wherever you've got B's, and the H and the B, in case you don't know this, are on each pencil. So there's a 2H here, there's an 8B right here. The B is black. It stands for that beautiful, gorgeous softness that you get in color. H is hard. H gives you really nice lines. They're not as blendy as the B. So that is quick because I have to go see class today, but this is the skill to practice and you just need a pencil, an eraser. This is a blender stick. This I think is um, Hobby Lobby. I actually have one that is my grandma's. <laughs> so that's kind of cool. And then this, just to get in the habit of this because it smears so much and this won't smear. All right, that was my quick before class video. Okay, stop sharing. <laughs> I just wanted to get something out today. I appreciate those of you that are following me. It really gives me confidence to keep doing this. And thank you for the questions because it makes it easier when I'm actually talking to someone that I know in my head versus like making these up as I go. So that was the skill. And I'm glad that I could do this video because I'm out of here for class. So thanks.